Your KETK Sports Zone, brought to you by Peters Auto Sports Tyler. The Dallas Cowboys drafted Georgia quarterback Quincy Carter back in 2001. And he looked to be part of a turnaround project for Dallas, leading them to the playoffs in 2003. But in the offseason, he was released after failing a drug test, and his football career never got back to that level. Carter is now older and wiser, and on Saturday was in East Texas, coaching up some of our local kids. It's part of the multiple stops Carter is making with his football camp, which is focused on training quarterbacks and wide receivers. Now, this weekend, he was at Jeff Trailer Stadium in Gilmer, where he held sessions for elementary level, middle, and high school athletes. Now, after his NFL career ended in 2004, Carter spent some time playing in the arena leagues, and for a while, still had trouble with drugs. But now, he has refocused his life and wants to be an example for every young athlete he gets to teach along his journey. I've got the, the blueprint of, you know, of how, you know, how you can make it and be successful. Then I got the blueprint of how you can destroy a career and how quickly you can do that by, you know, implementing some bad uh, habits in your life. It's everything because uh, you're able, you know, to actually give a kid something that, you know, that's so valuable to his life. And, you know, and I know that getting, getting a little bit older, being 43 now, you know what's important. Uh, you know, I know what I need to get these kids, being blessed with all the coaches and the men up above, just guiding me along and giving these kids what they really need, fundamentally wise, man. It means the world to me. Carter's next camp will be at Cedar Park High School in the Austin area, but he hopes to bring this event back to East Texas next summer.